as we find it on the plate, isn't ready to be absorbed into our bodies. The first stage is chewing. Food is broken up by the teeth and mixed with the enzymes in saliva to begin the process of digestion. Then it's swallowed. This is an x-ray of a person swallowing. You can see the bones of the spine and the base of the skull because x-rays show bones and hard tissues. The food is in the esophagus, but these soft tissues don't show when the food has gone. Once in the esophagus, food doesn't just fall down towards the stomach, it's pushed. The muscles in the wall of the esophagus contract and push the food along. This is called peristalsis. Next stop, the stomach. It works rather like a biological liquidizer. The lining is covered in delicate folds, which allow it to expand with each mouthful you swallow. Inside, a mixture of enzymes and hydrochloric acid start to digest your food. It churns away for about four hours, and then it passes into the intestine, which is altogether about 10 meters in length. Bile flows in from the bile duct to help you break down fats. On this x-ray, you can see the spine and the pelvis. The soft tissue of the gut becomes invisible as the waste food passes out of the body.